Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some NBA with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Okay, so in this video, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this time to talk about the log jam of big man that that's going on in Philly with the 76ers right now. Um, as you guys know, the Sixers currently on the roster as of last year. They had two guys, two young big men, suit up for them that uh, are highly coveted: Julia Okafor and Nerlens Noel. Now. Where the log jam comes into play is this year that as uh, Joel Embiid is supposed to be playing, he's supposed to be healthy, and you would assume that being that the Sixers invested a top three pick on this guy, and that he had all this hype coming out of Kansas of being compared to Hakeem Olajuwon and all this upside, you think that he's going to be the guy that is going to start at center. So naturally, you know that leaves uh, the, the Sixers with a tough, de tough decision on their hands. They're going to have to either start Noel power forward or play Okafor power forward. Now, oh, and on top of that, I don't want, I don't want to forget, they also have Dario Saric, the, I believe he's Croatian. They drafted him a couple years ago. They stashed him away over there in Europe. They have recently signed him to the roster, so he might be on the roster as well. So you're looking at four potential big men, four young big men, and that's going to leave the Sixers with a dilemma on their hands. Can they find minutes for all these guys? Conventional wisdom would say, no, they can't. So with that being said, they're going to have to find um, out who they're going to get rid of. And if they're going to get rid of somebody, I believe, okay, that that guy should be New Orleans Noel. And here's a couple reasons why. New Orleans Noel is the only one guy out of those four guys who's proven he, he, he can produce at the NBA level consistently. That's number one. Number two, New Orleans Noel is still fairly young. And he's already proven to have some elite attributes, such as blocking shots. And number three... Um, he's not fit to play power forward. You're not gonna play him at center over Embiid. That's that conventionalism would say that the Sixers are gonna, the Sixers aren't gonna play him over Embiid. And he's already proven it's already, it's already proven fact that him and Jaleel Okafor playing next next to each other just does not work for the Sixers. So they're gonna have to find a deal, and I think that's a guy they should move because he'd probably be the easiest guy to move. Um, now with that being said, he's a he's a good piece. They can get something in return for them and make their ball club better. Um. I can't say necessarily the same thing. The same thing about Jaleel Okafor because Jaleel is a very unproven in the NBA. Um, he's also had some character issues. He beat up fans in Boston last year who said the Sixers suck, although they were telling the truth because the Sixers do suck right now. Um, got into a fight, brawl with some fans in the streets of Boston last year, and he just has not proven himself to be very good defensively. And it's going to be, you know, obviously a team will take a flyer on the guy. He's talented. But New Orleans Noel is the better trade chip at this point in time. So with that being said, um, any team that gets New Orleans Noel, you know, is getting somebody who's, you know, was versatile talent. The only guy in the NBA last year who was top 10 in blocks and steals. A guy, and at the age of 22, I might add. You know, he's a guy that uh, defensively will improve any team, I believe. So i trade him because either you're going to have to keep him or you're going to have to, you know, it... it they, they, they just got to figure something out in Philly. Because right now, the, the, the team doesn't have an identity. They just drafted Ben Simmons. You figure that's going to be the guy to build a franchise around. Ben Simmons, being that they invested the number one pick over, overall pick on him, the first number one overall pick Philly's had since Allen Iverson, that's the guy they're going to build around. Ben Simmons is excited. I already made a video about this. Got a couple thousand views. Um, ben Simmons is excited to play with Joel Embiid. They played with each other in high school and or against each other in high school. And so you think Ben Simmons will play one of the guard spots and B will play center. So then that leaves you three big men. You got to figure out who's playing power forward. So you can't play Okafor there. He doesn't really have um, that refined of an off offensive game yet. And he's not really a power forward. Um, you could play Noel there because Noel played 35% of his minutes there and had success doing it. But then you also have Saric who... If they're gonna, if, if they really have big plans for this guy long term, Dario Saric and the way his game is structured fits a power forward position a lot better than Noel and Okafor. So, convention like, and, and they already tried moving Okafor and Noel at the at the, at the um, NBA draft. They tried moving those guys and they they couldn't find a deal. So, the Sixers have already indicated that those are the two guys are trying to move anyway to make room for these guys. So, um, just want to get this out there. I think that Noel being traded. It's something the Sixers should do, but um, you guys let me know what you think. Do you think the Sixers uh, should trade New Orleans the well? And uh, if so, what are some plausible deals you guys um, 
see out there for the Sixers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me, or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.